What's going on? Travis here, TravisSetzel.com, coming at you. Just wanted to share a uh, quick circuit I did uh, to finish off my session here. And uh, I like to call these uh, strength cardio circuits. And uh, basically what it is, uh, I mean there's tons of different things that you can do with this, but it promotes a couple of different things. So number one, obviously strength. Number two, cardio. Um, with the circuit that I did, I combined some yoke carries. Um, I'm fortunate enough I have a yoke um, that I use every now and then and so I loaded that up with weight and you just walk around with it on your back. I have a cambered squat bar um, that you obviously use for uh, squats but you can use it for zercher carries as well. You could actually use that as a yoke as well just how the weight loads up on your back. And then heavy ass sled pushes there. And then I also threw in GHD sit-ups in there in the mix just for uh, good measure. But uh, basically what you can do, there's a lot of different uh, formulas you can put together. But uh, you're doing a weighted strength movement. So some sort of carry. And you're going to do multiple um, varieties of those. So pushing the sled around. That jacks the heart rate up big time. Plus it uh, promotes strength because you're pushing some heavy ass weight around. Um, yoke carry, same thing. You're putting a heavy amount of weight on your back. So you're loading up the spine, loading up the core, loading up your tendons, and then you're walking around. So uh, it promotes a lot of different things. Total body stability, total body strength. You had better, uh, you know, be strong enough to get under that weight and walk around with it. And uh, you need to make sure you, you're able to support that type of weight. Um, same thing with the Zercher carries. Those were the worst out of the bunch. You're carrying that weight in the front position. You'll see the highlight here in a second after this video, but uh, uh, some swap ins you can use for this. For the yoke, uh, obviously not a lot of people have a yoke. Um, a couple different things you can do. Load up uh, a barbell with a ton of weight, put it on your back, walk around with it. That's really all a yoke is, except the uh, weight is loaded up um, towards the ground. But uh, another uh, thing you can do with that, if you got some straps, you can basically strap the weights onto the bar so they're kind of hanging so it'll uh, make for kind of more um, stability balance and it'll treat it more and it'll force you uh, to kind of feel more like it's an actual yoke walk um, if you have a cambered bar again not a, a lot of people have a cambered bar but you can do zercher carries with the barbell as well um, you can do zercher carry with uh, you know sandbags any uh, sort of heavy object you're just going to put it in that front hold position um, GHD sit-ups, you can just swap something else in. You can do, you know, toes to bar, knees to bow, something like that. Or you can even do like a short sprint or some burpees, something to get that heart rate up and work the full body. And then you're going to go to uh, heavy sled push. If you don't have a sled, easiest thing to do is just make one out of a tire and uh, you can just load it up. Uh, I used to put a um, piece of wood in the middle of the tire. So you can throw plates in and uh, different weights and stuff in the middle to make it heavier so you can just drag it forwards, pull it backwards, whatever you want to do. So there you go, little straight cardio circuit here and the uh, session out riding. The thing about it is not a lot of people do this stuff um, and they're missing out the boat or they're missing out big time here. So something that you should be doing at least once a week, um, some sort of weighted uh, um, um, cardio type stuff, so pharma walks and the different movements that I talked about. So check out the highlight, leave your thoughts, comments, questions below, and keep kicking ass. Go on 110% ham, live and train aggressive. Travis, I'm out of here.